Bothnia Bold Project has upgraded the maritime link between the ports of Luleå, Rahe, and Oxelösund in the northern Baltic Sea. During the years 2016 to 2020, Bothnia Bold Project has modernized the year-round supply of raw materials of steelworks to be more sustainable by improving the port infrastructure and efficiency and by introducing two LNG-fueled bulk carriers. The Bothnia Bold Project promotes clean shipping and reduction of environmental impacts of shipping beyond existing environmental regulations. The project partners are ESL Shipping, the leading carrier of dry bulk cargoes in the Baltic Sea region. SSAB is a leading Nordic-based steel producer. Rahen Voima is operating a power plant where LNG is used as a backup fuel. Port of Rahem, Port of Lula, and Port of Oxylösund. Two new 1A ice class dry bulk carriers, MS Haga and MS Viki, have been built with additional environmental efforts. The environmentally friendly vessels are powered by liquefied natural gas LNG, and equipped with onshore power connection and ballast water management system. The new vessels were delivered in 2018. The Bay of Bodnia area provides steel supply to the processing and manufacturing industries throughout Europe and delivers end products worldwide. The new Ice Class 1A vessels are the first LNG fueled large bulk carriers in the world, representing the latest in technology and innovation. The LNG-powered vessels show a clear reduction in CO2 emissions per transport work compared to a conventional vessel utilizing fossil fuel. The yearly CO2 emissions per transport work for the new LNG-powered vessels are 40 to 50% less compared to a conventional vessel. In addition to reduced CO2 emissions, utilizing LNG fuel efficiently diminishes other harmful air emissions. Sulfur oxygens, minus 100%, nitrogen oxygens, minus 80% and particular matter, minus 99%. Furthermore, LNG technology offers a solution for climate change mitigation in shipping industry, as the LNG technology and infrastructure enable the usage of liquefied biogas, LBG, for fossil-free maritime transport. MSVK was the first vessel in Finland to use 100% renewable LBG. MSVK was fueled in Rahe, Finland in June 2020, while transporting iron ore for SSAB. This is a significant step towards fossil-free maritime transport. Conventional vessels cause harmful air emissions while berthing at the port. Within Botnia Bulk Project, an onshore power connection was installed at the port of Luleå. The new vessels can connect to shore power, which allows the vessels to turn off their main and auxiliary engines while at port. Utilizing the onshore power reduces CO2 emissions and especially other harmful air emissions and noise in the port when vessels are berthing. In the port of Rahe, an LNG refueling truck was procured to serve maritime transport by cost-efficient LNG bunkering. The port infrastructure and efficiency were also developed in Rahe by capital dredging of the harbor basin beside the Tripol Key. After the completed dredging, the port is able to accommodate the new larger and environmentally efficient vessels at the port. The project also included studies related to the onshore power supply and safe LNG bunkering procedures in the ports. As a result of the project, the energy-efficient, low-emission supply of dry bulk cargo is now in place. The total CO2 emissions per transport work has been reduced by almost 50% compared to conventional vessels in operation. Harmful air emissions have been reduced through using LNG as a fuel and other additional energy efficiency measures on board the new vessels, as well as by increasing port efficiency in operation. The usage of shore power will further reduce air emissions in the ports. The Bodnia Bulk project has contributed to combating climate change and air pollution beyond the existing regulations. It promotes clean shipping and alternative fuels. It will increase the demand for LNG and LBG and deployment of their bunkering infrastructure in the Gulf of Bodnia, as well as the implementation of onshore power supply. The program has received financial support from the European Union via the CEF transport program.